All right, what's up guys? Tier lists are like the most popular videos on my channel. So I decided what other tier lists can I do? And so I did all the spells right for all the schools and I was thinking, what else is there in Wiz that we can really tier list really get into? The answer was obviously the worlds. Um, but I wanna spin because I feel like doing just the worlds, like here they all are, the worlds and the expansions, Look, that's just too basic, right? That's not what we're about here on this channel. Um, we like to go a lot more in depth than that. Uh, so I do have all the worlds here, uh, including little expansions like the uh, Aquila, uh, the Tale of the Four Dungeons. So that's like Darkmoor and uh, Zigzag and that kind of thing. And uh, there's no world icon, but this is the Catacombs or the Extract update with all that crap, all the extracts, baby. Um, so yeah, so I have all the expansions here, but here's what's gonna be different each one of these expansions is going to be its own video and here's why i'll put a map of wizard city on the screen um this is what we're going to be breaking down so we're going to go through zone by zone each area of each world or each expansion and then we are going to put it on the tier list so first up is wizard city so before we put wizard city on this tier list and again none of this is scripted so i'm just going to be rambling off the top of my head i might change my mind later we're just going for it let's go here are our zones i made sure to get nice pictures of them i made sure to label them i hope you guys just please leave a like on this video i spent like you guys might just think i'm taking pictures and throwing it in which i kind of am but i do put a lot of time into these videos as well making sure i have look here's a little comments hope you can see a little comments um, and I do edit these videos down and stuff. So I, I did put it, some effort into these. Tell me where, uh, where you think I went wrong, stuff you agree with, and uh, tell me if you want me to continue the series. I actually love doing these tier lists. They're super fun for me. And I love, I get comments on them all the time like, well, I don't really agree with this or this. You know, be civil. It's my opinion, you know. You saying something, I might be like, you're totally wrong. I overlooked something. And I might be like, yeah, well, it's still my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's start it off. Let's just go in the order that these somehow shuffled themselves into. Uh, Colossus Boulevard first. Uh, we're going to do A is average. S is just amazing. Uh, and we're going off of like how long the area is, how what, how good it looks, you know, basic stuff. You know, guys, know how it is. Uh, Colossus Boulevard. Um, I feel like it's, it's not great, you know. I love King Gobbler at the end. I think he looks great. He's just massive King Gobbler. Gobbler. I think he looks cool. I think the idea of the Gobblers, um, didn't they? Didn't they use their? They came to Wizard City because their home got taken over by witches or something. Gobblerton. I'd love to see a little bit more of that in the future, perhaps. Um, but as it is now, even with the visual update, it's a it's a place you can entirely skip. <laughs> you just don't even ever need to do it. In fact, there's no reason to ever do it. That being said, I don't think it's terrible. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. You can't farm the heart steel here. What I'm regardless. Cyclops Lane. I think. Look, Wizard City. I think as we go through the worlds, each area gets better. Like these areas are all right. Crocotopia's areas are all right. But like once you get to like Avalon areas, they're really well made. They're all distinct. Like the weird is distinctly different from the wild. Um, uh, so it's one of those things where once we get they got better designing areas as they went on with the game but uh cyclops isn't bad i think it's very unique has the myth type feel to it um i actually like it in the new update with the, the giant cyclops holding the the plot of land is really cool so i'm gonna put cyclops lane as all right so cyclops lane is going to be Man, it's so hard. The first worlds are so hard because I just haven't rated anything yet. Like, I don't know what A is, so there it might, is it better or worse than this? Is it better than Colossus right now, though? Yeah, for sure. Is it average? I still think there are a lot of better places in the spiral. Ah, dude, I feel so bad because I think you should think it's an average, it's a meh area. It's not even average good. It's okay. And this is okay. This is good, average, good, good, great amazing you know crazy um dark cave just absolutely d fucking d tier dark cave is terrible there's nothing to do there except for i guess isn't the cabal there way later in the story um and then like penny dreadful as like a quest there b 
basically useless, guys. It's pretty bad. If you really disagree with me on this, I, who spends their time in the dark cave? I don't know. Um, also, I want to say I forgot about Crab Alley. I looked at the map a hundred times. Crab Alley wasn't on it. I tried to remember like every area. Sometimes I'll do, like I was tempted to do, we're going to get to uh, Night Side in a bit. I was tempted to do that Sunken City dungeon as its separate thing, but I'll just include it in the Night Side because Night Side's not very big. So certain things I'll do, I'll add extra little areas off the map, but my map is my basis. Anyway, moving forward. Firecat Alley. That's A. I don't hate Cyclops. Firecat Alley with the update especially. The, okay. Fire Globe Theater is cool. Um, the sky of Firecat Alley is amazing. It looks so pretty. You can kind of see it in this picture. The blue, the orange. If you haven't, if you guys haven't been to Firecat Alley since the update or just forget what it looks like. One of the prettiest areas in the game just because of the sky. Um, the elves look terrible there. I'm not going to duck the place for that. Um, all right, Gollum Tower. So the Catacombs is its own thing. Otherwise, I would have included Catacombs in this rating. Gollum Tower is, I guess you learn gardening there. You get like a, the fire orb maybe. Is that like to go to Dragonspire or something? Is in that little cave to the side. I don't think Lincoln's even there anymore. Um, I just feel like it's kind of useless. There's just the tower. Uh, I think it's even more useless uh, than Colossus Boulevard. Again, guys, I'm, I can't remember every little thing that happens in all these areas. Please, let's, please let me know, because uh, I might change some ratings in the comment. If I change them, I'll probably have a pinned comment going. You know, Colossus changed to B or to A or whatever. You know, pretend, depending on if I change something. Watch the video first and then go down and check the comments for that. Haunted Cave. So that is where the, in the update it looks better. I couldn't find the picture of the update. Um, I actually kind of like the Haunted Cave now. I still don't think a lot's done there. You fight, like, one field guard, and then you fight, um, not Lord Nightshade. Now, as the end of the, of the world area, like, it's the end of Wizard City, I think it's nice. It's, like, that evil aesthetic. It's, it's somewhere you haven't, besides, besides the Dark Cave, you haven't, and, in, in Nightside, too, a little bit. You haven't really seen that evil part of Wiz yet, the death part of Wiz, which again is just all over the place in later worlds. But Haunted Cave, I'm going to go with the, you don't do a ton there. It's a little forgettable. I'm going to go with B. You know, this is my a little bit forgettable, but still decent is B. You know, Colossus Boulevard, right? Haunted Cave. Nightside, on the other hand. When I realize, like, you see that Marlorn is this death student, right? He teaches you like four spells in death school. And then you see the, the death school fell. But I feel like once you realize, even before the quest, if you don't have like, if you didn't buy a member for a while, so you just explored the commons and you went behind the waterfall, that hidden area and then finding the death school that just crashed down is like one of the coolest things of just like exploring the game. It's something that I wish I could have experienced for the first time uh, again. Like it's, I, I just remember finding that little waterfall for the first time and then going like, oh my God, this is where the death school is. I thought that was one of the coolest things ever. I really like it. Um, that being said, there's not a lot to do here. Sunken City, which is attached to this. Um, not much to say about that. Um, Dark Moor's attached to this as well, although that's in the four dungeons. Dark Moor's its own thing. That being said, Night Side is just so cool. I, like, it's just one of those areas. I, what, what am I supposed to say? It's awesome, okay? It's awesome. Um, but it is a little bit forgettable. Old Town, Hold the Bazaar. It, it's just like a, it's, it's not quite the commons, it's not quite shopping district, but it's still, it's still a place that a lot of people go, A+. plus. Old Town's great. Anybody who's played the game knows that the bazaar is amazing, okay? <laughs> and it has that little kiosk thing, uh, team up kiosk. Ravenwood's fucking S plus tier. I think the idea of the, like schools of magic being different classes and then having those schools with their own elemental tree or fire tree, ice tree, myth tree, around a giant world tree that like it's absolutely brilliant it's such a cool area i think if ravenwood wasn't cool it's the hub of where you get your spells where you level up where you get growth as a character um you, you feel attached to your teacher like oh my god this is my first teacher it's melinda Wu. it's lydia gray rose you know it's cyrus drake it, it's just such a cool area and i don't think if if ravenwood wasn't as well designed as it is this game wouldn't be as nostalgic or memorable as it is. I think one of the, if you come back to this game in 10 years, you'll see the commons, you'll see Unicorn Way or whatever. Ravenwood, that's the spot. It, I think it stands for itself. Um, shopping District. 
not much here. Um, there's the the few crappy shops. There's the uh, the dye shop. Of course, everybody knows the dye shop. That being said, um, it's probably as good as Old Town. Places you go a lot. Old Town Shopping District, level 100, level 3, level 130, level 500 when it comes out. The game will, there's no way that's ever going to happen. But you're always going to go to these places, right? You're always going to be there. Um, and they're good. Like, there's a reason for you to go to the shopping district. Um, and it looks, it, it does its job. It looks like a shopping district. The Commons is S+. Plus. Do I even have to explain it, guys? <laughs> the Commons is really good. Um, duh, it's the Commons. It's, it's, the free, it's the Commons. It's literally where every... It's the community hub of the whole game. Um, Triton Avenue. I definitely like Triton Avenue because it is the free area that people get to play in. Uh, I love the cascading waterfalls. That being said, some of the quests here are a little repetitive. And it's also like... You know, you do the, the Fire Kid Alley quest. How many times have I gone through Triton Avenue? More times than ever that I've gone through, like, Fire Kid Alley. Like, Triton Avenue is the... I feel like it's the place, even more so than, like, Unicorn Way half the time, is a place where I feel like it's just the place I've been the most. That being said, I really do like it. I'm tempted to put an A plus or A. I, it, again, it's really close. I'm going to get comments like, Ugh, Triton Avenue and that is plus... Okay, there's some better areas in the game. It's a cool looking area. I haven't played the new one. Um, I don't know if the new one makes it different. I think it's just the, you think of Wiz questing, I think of Triton Avenue a lot. So I'll put it in A+. Plus. Um, yeah, Unicorn Way, put an A. It's good. It's your beginning of the game. I mean, there's nostalgia. There's like nostalgia, Unicorn Way. Okay, what's distinct about it? It has a unicorn statue, the arena. I guess, ooh, the arena, whatever. The arena's its own thing. Um, it's not really worth rating, it's just the arena. But I guess the hedge maze is the good part of it. I'm putting an A. It really kind of deserves to be in like B plus B, but I'm putting an A. Crab Alley, poor Crab Alley. Is it better than Colossus though? It's as forgettable as Colossus, and, uh, but is it better? Uh, man, I just don't know. Oof, oof. Oh my god, this is so tough. <laughs> These are this is harder than I thought it would be, uh, and maybe it'll get easier as I go on. God, what do you guys think? I'm so tempted to put it. Is it better than Colossus or Cyclops? No, it's not better than Cyclops. All right, B. Again, you can skip it, and there's really no reason to do it. Oh my god. This is the most underdog story ever. You know what I forgot about Crab Alley? You know what I forgot, chat? Whoop! You know what I forgot? I'll give you 10 seconds. No, I'll give you like 5 seconds to guess why it's S. Yeah, it's Waterworks. Waterworks is ridiculous. Uh, House of Scales is great. I still think Waterworks is overall better than House of Scales. It's easier to farm. There's, uh, Waterworks, enough said. I, that is the biggest glow up of all time. Crab Alley goes from being a beer tier, no reason to do it, forgettable little area. Like, nobody does the quest anymore. Why would you? It's it's not even that good. There it is. It says. <laughs> Which now leads us into, uh, but yeah, this is my Wizard City tier list for all the areas. Uh, I've taken into account a lot of things. Um, I'm going to do this for all the worlds, but... Before we go, we forgot the most important part of the tier list, perhaps. Where does Wizard City stack up against all the other worlds? Now, I'm not doing all the other worlds yet. I haven't even scripted out. Oh, I'm going to think I'm going to put this one here. No idea. We're just putting them in. That being said, our first world. I literally put them in order, too. I named them, like, one Wizard City, two Crocotope. They didn't care. The program didn't care. <laughs> um, but Wizard City, where am I putting it? God. Uh... I'm so, it's it's good. I think some of the later worlds, they definitely, like Mushu's really pretty. Uh, I love what Grizzleheim's very pretty. Zafario's super cool with its aesthetic. Same with Celestia. Wizard City is also Wizard City though. Like it's the first main world. Um, and that being said, I'm tempted to put in A, but I'm gonna put in A+. Um, and I might get a lot of hate for this, 
somehow it's just wizard city like it's good it's not anything outstanding it's not anything it's not anything terrible it's pretty average right it's pretty average i think i think other worlds are, are definitely cooler people hate azteca um but avalon like looks amazing each area each player model the story of it with king artorius and and the dragons and the pen dragons i, I just think there's better stuff later in the game I think um, more visually uh, unique and distinctive, like Celestia being underwater, but then you like go above. So cool, so cool. Um, and I think we have some really cool stuff to look forward to in the future. Uh, but Wizard City A+. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you really like this uh, idea. I actually have working on two other videos and by working on them, not just like concepting them. Like I am in the middle of editing them now. One of them is the Stone Key Boss. Look out for that, like it's taken months to make. Uh, another one is another video idea I've been working on for the past week or so. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. The videos will come out when they come out. It's kind of just how it is. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like or and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of these videos. Um, see ya. Have a great day, guys.